So a few days ago I was sitting here and I was thinking, huh, it's like 81 degrees outside, it's sunny, it'd be nice to go out and run some trails or something. So I texted a friend and I was like, hey, do you want to go outside, find something to do? And he replied back saying that he knows someone that has like a whole bunch of land with a whole bunch of trails and roads and things like that. And it's riverfront property. So I hopped in the van, went over to his place, and then uh, we went to check it out. My priority wasn't exactly filming this, so it's just kind of a bunch of random clips of us running around. But I was using my Amy Systems chair that day. It actually does pretty good in the off-road scenarios that we were in, but this is like 17 minutes of footage. We're just kind of running around doing whatever, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy some scenery. Oh look, I have a camera. <laughs> ah, there's the possum they were talking about. Hopefully it's not a skunk. Although we'd probably smell it already if it was. Boy, there's fresh tracks in the ground. So I definitely hear water. Yeah. I think that one goes back around to somewhere. So the road actually goes down somewhere to the water? Close to. Yeah, I guess we could do that other the other road. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does look a little steeper down here. Oh, further down. Yeah, that's a lot cooler down here. Yeah. Yeah, it's what, probably 10 degrees cooler down here? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this goes down to the water. So how's the bumpiness? Are you gonna be able to do this for a while? All right. If I were you in that chair, I'd be done by now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a picnic table. You can have a picnic. Was pick picnic? Oh, yeah, this does go right to the water. Why don't you have your parents bring that roof down here and set up a little summer shack? I've, I've come up with a use for that thing. Okay, now I'm pissed. I want to put my feet in the water, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Although I probably wouldn't feel it anyway, and I'd instantly get this reflexic. <laughs> if by next time you mean never. <laughs> Gotta go pretty slow on this part. Oh, full service, there's even a trash can. Huh. So I definitely should have brought the 360 camera to get some nature footage. I might have to come down here and do like a 12 hour recording of this on that table. I've been thinking about doing that. Luckily there's coffee. Hey, there's more cell signal down here than there was. I did bring the satellite communicator though, just in case. <laughs> it's the other thing too with this Amy Systems chair is you constantly have to adjust the, um, the tilt when you're on uneven surfaces because this one's so narrow. <clears throat> Someone, someone's been down here. I, I can't even do it. Someone's been here. <laughs> was there a road that went down there or was it way overgrown? I think it might've been overgrown. And one way to find out. Oh yeah, it's all overgrown. 
Looks like the ground gets pretty soft back here too. Yeah, this is damp enough. If I back straight up, I'd probably get stuck. It'd be great to do some uh, brush clearing with the razor down there. Yeah. Speaking of razors, tracks. Unless that was me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, cross slopes on this are a little sketchy. <laughs> I'm leaning. Okay, so I'll go first, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty steep. I think we need to stay to that side because it sort of slopes off over there. And when you start getting the washboard awesomeness, yeah, yeah, sticker bushes. All right, I'll see how it works and then. I think on the left is good. You can watch me and see what you think. Oh wait, hang on, I gotta, I gotta tilt forward a little bit. Okay, I probably shouldn't have stopped right here. Oh, this is fine. You get a little bit of left and right motion, but it's not bad. Like, I think I can even stop right here. If you can keep your hand on the joystick. <laughs> it's a little bouncy. Oh yeah, look at my tracks. They're all like. <laughs> I'm attempting to go straight. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was me trying as hard as I could to go straight. <laughs> yeah, see, you're way better at it. <laughs> okay, more tilt. I gotta be better than you at something. I know, right? <laughs> like having a razor that you can drive. Let's go. Let's go look over here real quick. Oh, I guess there's that. This is another argument against having an easy lock. <laughs> I'd be hung up on everything. Although that stick just tried to hit me in the face. <laughs> oh. Wonder if this goes anywhere useful. They all end up somewhere. Looks like people have driven down here recently with like highway tires. Oh, maybe it was your dad. <laughs> yeah, we sent a scout out first to make sure that uh, this was somewhat not. Burns. Burns make sure it's not two feet deep of gravel. These are long little spindly ones though. You don't want these. These things are fighting to get light. It's evidence of pigeons. Gross. Both? Oh look, stinging nettles. Don't let that brush up against you. You want, you want the trail in the floor, okay. Yeah, I think this is about as close as you get. Yes, this is not public land. Whoa. That, 
That almost looks like rhubarb. Oh, yeah. But there's another plant that's like super poisonous that looks similar to it. Hey, Dan, look, I got a stick ball on me. Hey, nice. <laughs> Although rhubarb itself is technically poisonous. As long as you only eat the stalk, you're fine. My pet stick ball. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how long your pet stick follows you. <laughs> uh, we'll probably have to stop here because we're not getting back up this. I mean, we might, but it's a little bit soft. Yeah. Roop. Yeah. You'll have to see if we can find our way back up to the gate. Plus, it would have taken like two hours to get this far. In case I didn't mention, which I probably didn't, his mom dropped us in the middle of the woods and we're trying to find our way back. <laughs> Got a little hill climb down here. It's nice and wide though. Now that there's a stagnant pond. filled with death. Look at all the floating garbage in the red ring around it. Killer mold. Or do we? So someone's oil pan found this. There's a big old chunk taken out with some oil on it. <laughs> Wonder what that was. <laughs> Okay, um, I have to pick a line on this one. I think I'm gonna go over that bump right there and then try to veer left after I get past that dip. Um, I picked a line, I'm gonna test it and see what happens. Oh. Well, that wasn't the exact route I wanted, but it worked. Sort of. I'm not gonna lie, your gyroscope will probably help. I hope I can make it. Just stay on the high parts. Yeah. You don't need a whole lot of speed, but just a little bit. Okay, yeah, ESP for the win, seriously. I can see it working. Like right there, you should be stuck, but you're not. There's no way I could have come up that part. <laughs> Okay, Permobile, maybe the gyroscopes are useful. <laughs> oh, need to stay out of this though. <laughs> yeah, all right, let me consult the satellite map again. Yeah, that's where you get stuck instantly right there. <laughs> well, I never know when you put rocks on the road. Yeah.
Oh yeah, be able to compare. Well, it's not mounted to my armrest if it was. Well, here, let's try with it sitting on the armrest and see what this is like. Let's see if this does any better. Still on the armrest. <laughs> Okay, now we're back off the armrest. Just don't stop, whatever you do. <laughs> I'm on the way, yeah, you're in the fine spot. For some reason I picked the treacherous line. It's really interesting though, that gyroscope worked really well getting you up that surface. Really? You should kill my tire, the hot. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. See if I'm on fire. Oh. Eh, not really. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hot, actually. <laughs> so is mine. I can't, I can't, well, yeah. I feel like I'd burn myself if I touch mine. Mm -hmm. Maybe yours as well. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely putting some heat into these motors. What's my battery doing? Oh, we're down three green bars. <laughs> yeah, it's not good to heat them up constantly every day, but it's probably fine. That's what insurance is for. Where's your battery at? Two green down. There okay. Nothing to worry too much about. Yep. It's all smooth sailing from here. One more sizable hill. Yeah. I'll go faster. I think your chair is faster than mine by a tiny bit. Yep. You're very slowly pulling away. Uh oh, a pothole. Ever so slightly faster. <laughs>